Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia video. I think very early into the middle of the night I'm recording this. Um, so here's the last Gala Dragalia banner we had. It's Gala Alex. It was on March 26th, so that means in two months we would get another Gala banner. We're getting a new Gala banner tomorrow. It will be, it will be, I counted it out, four weeks. So exactly one month instead of two months. And we're gonna get one. Literally this, this banner ends right when Fire Emblem Heroes Part 2 uh, banner should start. Um, so today we're gonna be going over this brand new unit. My general thoughts on the handling of what they've been doing. Uh, and a bunch of other stuff that just might come into my head, but... That's gonna be today's video. I'm gonna try and keep it very <laughs> positive in a way. Not trying to be too angry, of course, because that's just not really my human. You have to go, you have to be Dokkan in order to get me angry. Um, that's gonna be today's video, of course. If you end up liking it, make sure to leave a like. Uh, subscribe to me for more Jigalia stuff. Now let's just get into this. So this is Mars. This is, um, if you're not, if you skip the story, there's apparently some people who just straight up skip the story. This is one of your brother's, uh, but to keep it vague, this is one of your brother's dragons. It's Mars. Uh, a dragon famed for being the strongest in history, a hundred kingdoms were raised by fires, which, why, which is why humans dubbed him the Blaze Worm. He later forged a pact with Leonidas, hey, I tried to keep it <laughs> a secret, and allowed himself to be twisted to the power of alchemy. Alchemy, Alchemic Hellfire deals flame damage to an enemy directly ahead, draws them towards the user, and increases the user's strength by 20% for 20 seconds. It is possible to charge the skill gauge by attacking and use it up to twice during one shapeshift. Alright, one moment. Okay, let's continue. Flame Strength 2 and HP 50% equals Strength 20%. If the user is attuned to Flame, increase Strength by 70% and increase Strength by all additional 20% when HP is 50% or above. Uh, if the user is attuned to Flame, fill 100% of all skill gauges when the user shapeshift is undone. That is Flame Unending Shapeshift equals uh, skill gauge 100%. <sighs> so right off the bat... Um, He's kind of better than a good... I think he's better. He might be better. Again, I'm going to say might because Lerp was literally asleep and that's my main go-to guy to ask about how he feels about meta stuff uh, when it comes to dragons. Um, even though the last time I asked him, he was half asleep and didn't he misread what the bunny did. But regardless, I usually like to ask him because he's he's higher into the, the game and stuff. I'm almost positive that right here, Mars is better than every other fire dragon but Konohana Sakyo. Konohana Sakyo is the, of course, the great, the currently, I think, the best um, uh, fire dragon, not because of her dragon form, but it's because of her skill that is, like, uh, so amazing. It's not the dragon itself that's all that amazing, but it's actually what she gives to, get to the adventure, which is what matters the most. What Mars is giving is insane. For example, um, Fatalis, who gives you 80% just straight up has a whole thing where if you try and um, use him as shapeshift then you get cursed for the remainder of the fight. Like there's a huge drawback that you have to think about. The only drawback here is keeping your HP up. So I don't No, I think no. So regardless you're going to get 70% and then if you can keep it above um, 50% then you should get uh, an additional 20%. So that means you would get 90, and then if you fall below 50%, then it turns into 70, which is not the... That is the smallest slap in the wrist I've ever seen. Also, this skill, this is the first time a dragon has ever been able to use a skill twice, and also build it up for um, while they're attacking. It usually never happens that way, because usually you use a skill and then it's done. This is kind of... He's nutty. He's, I think, fitting for what is to be considered the first um gala dragalia dragalia gala dragalia that's what they like to call it the first gala unit that is a dragon i've been kind of wondering when they were going to start doing gala dragons i didn't know that they were going to do it on an off month basis he's definitely i think worth it but here's the thing do you chase after him it depends on what you're looking for in dragalia if you super care about the fire emblem heroes characters 
I'm gonna say there's about a pretty good chance that Mars is gonna be better than every single one of them on there. And he's gonna have longer um, viability. Chances are, I actually don't know. Maybe those Fire Emblem Hero characters could be the greatest in the entire world and I'm just talking out my butt, which is possible. I've done it before. Um, but here's the thing about him. It's tough. So if you play this game only thinking about meta, then I would say probably there's, and it's unfortunate, I wish we had info for the Fire Emblem characters because that's really going to be hard to know without knowing the exact details of it. But it really does feel like Mars is just going to be so, the second he's out, is going to be so just in every single fire team just going forward. <sighs> It just doesn't feel, out of all the teams to give it to, Fire feels weird, especially with like Win getting its Agito coming up. Doesn't feel fitting. The other thing that doesn't feel fitting, okay, so I think the dragon itself is fantastic. It's a good showcase for the first dragon. Actually, I'm gonna pull up the video real quick, so give me a sec. Okay, I'm here with the Twitter video. I have to remember. I can hear something, but you guys can't. Uh, I put off the audio for it because I'll get copyright struck in if it's shown. So this is him. I kind of into work. He definitely looks cool. There's no doubt in my mind that this dragon is a very cool dragon. Here's some of his action and work. Yeah, so the main thing... So his main purpose is kind of going to be... He's going to be using HMS, which is Master HMS... As someone who's done it and has been trying to put together a video for it, it's that has over four hours of footage of just failing it, there's definitely a barrier for people like me who are not the greatest at the game, who definitely still need help. So it's not like it's not serving a purpose. Okay, now let me go back to the game. All right, I'm back. So he definitely serves a purpose with the current fights that he has because Master HMS, at least to me, I haven't done all the Masters. I've only done... Master HMS, and I've only done Master High Brunhilde, um, Midgar Soma. Uh, those are the two I've done, and Midgar Soma took a lot of time and effort, <laughs> a lot of learning. So maybe Mars can help in that case for people like me have a better dragon. But here's the thing, is that no matter how good a dragon is, that's not going to help you if, like you're not able to like you still need practice and stuff there's no here's the fun thing is that uh, the kind of secret of everything is that there's no real unit except for maybe hawk who completely invalidates something if you have to know if you have to know a fight 100 percent to understand what's going on in it then then it's like kind of like what am i trying to say what i'm trying to say here is that mars is going to be fantastic but he's not going to, I think, complete... The people who already know how to completely cheese the hell out of those fights, they're only going to get better at doing that. It's only going to shave off a little bit more time, basically. They're only going to chip away at time. I completely forgot to put on the desktop audio. There you go. <sighs> okay, now let's get into the actual thing about this. This is releasing before Final Emblem Heroes. And the thing I was trying to say, which I think I've completely regarded the point, is that if you're into just pure... If you love the Fire Emblem Heroes characters, do not summon for this dragon. If you're in it for just pure fun, and you're like, I want the Fire Emblem dudes, save for Fire Emblem. Because here's the thing, is that this is actually something I really liked, is that now they've made it so that when you're doing an Adventure Gala uh, banner, and you have a dragon show up, Every single one of those dragon has a chance to be Mars now, which previously you only had to hope that you were getting a dragon that you could never get. So now you, there's actually a chance for you to be like excited about getting a dragon in Gala Banners, which in the past has never been a thing. I don't know if, uh, I think you could actually go back to my all my Gala Banner summons if you want, and you can see my reaction the second I see its dragon is going, oh, guess I'll skip, because there's really no point. But now that Mars is kind of in the picture, you have some hope now when you get dragon. Okay, now here's the actual, so yeah, like I said, I, I'm, I'm going to be summoning on this, but it's mainly because, let me show you how much freaking Wormite I have saved for Fire Emblem. I have 51 single tickets, that's 5 multis, uh, all together. I have 8 multi tickets, so right there is already enough for, in theory, one character, and then over f four, 46,000... Or how do you pronounce it? Either way, you see, you can see that. I have plenty. I am well used I'm bad with numbers. I can't say the right thing. For they often pass close by. Okay. 
they really needed to tell us that they were going to do this. That's my basic thing. This is the thing. I'm not angry that they're doing this because I get it to a certain point. Like there was a time in for Dokkan, for example, and this happens to all gacha games where for a while it was like, well, there's a Dokkan Fest banner maybe once a month. And now it's like almost every two weeks there's a new Dokkan Festival or there's a new LR. Or there's something new in the game. That's just the way gotchas kind of go. The thing that I'm not a big fan of is the fact that is that so far they haven't announced any form of free multis, which you, that kind of feels like, hey, you're kind of complaining that there's no free food. It's different when Dragalia has literally like given so much free stuff over the course of it. It actually feels weird when they don't do it. And I'm gonna pause again, because that stupid dog. Okay, he's calmed down. So yeah, it was Gal Banner. It's a very, I want, I wish they had told us this was coming. Because it is really messed up to drop this between Fire Emblem, right in the middle of the storm, basically, when no one was expecting it coming. But that's kind of why it's designed there for. If, I don't know, send your feedback saying you want to know more about what they plan to do, because dropping a gal out of nowhere is messed up. It really is. Um... The only other thing I have to say is, uh, let me see, I remembered. Okay, the thing I was going to say is that I kind of expect now, which I think will, it will probably be addressed in the, uh, this month in Dragalia, but from now on I fully expect one Gala Banner a month now. So that means you're going to have to pick and choose which Gala Banner to really go for from now on. Um... And it's going to be messed up because if you don't get them on their featured, it's going to be next to impossible to get them. Trust me, I have, I, when I upload this summon video, I guarantee you there's going to be one person who said, I spent all my war might and did not get Gala Cleo, even though it is actually impossible to get her, no matter the amount of war might, because of how stupid hard it is to actually get her. It is... But it never fails. It always happens. And now with Gala, uh, Gala Alex, I fully expect that to be a thing going forward. I didn't get Gala Alex or Gala Cleo. So I don't know. That's how my that's my thoughts on it. Sorry about the dog, but uh, kind of had to pause in between because eventually my uncle was going to come and yell at the dog, and he did. <laughs> I was right on that one. Tell me how you feel about this, though. It's very interesting. Are you for more Gala banners? I'm going to assume no. Um, I'm kind of okay with it, but I'm not going to be going crazy heavy into it, especially if we don't know if we're going to get free multis. Uh, I kind of expect Fire Emblem to get free multis, but I also expect Fire Emblem to be two banners. So, I don't know. It's a very weird thing to do, to do before a big hype crossover is to do this, especially with no forewarning. Also, the new Agito comes out on the 27th, but hey. So that's the end of today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to me if you want more Chigalia videos and stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, and good luck too.